taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Another video, we're going to talk about Zen Crypto today. Uh, as the price is going up, we'll take a look at the chart, but I think it's probably irresponsible at this stage to not have any Zen, at least minted to claim one day. Or you can buy Zen for dirt cheap on various uh, exchanges, um, Uniswap, decentralized, you can hold it in a bunch of wallets, okay guys? And I just think right about now, I don't think you can afford to miss out on having some zen okay guys none of this is financial advice don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but for those of you that were bullish on hex or are bullish on hex or got into hex early or feel like you missed out on hex this is another opportunity to make those kind of gains all over again or make the gains that you missed in my opinion okay because i believe that this particular altcoin is going to go to the moon okay guys even they could even do it without you know on its own wait without waiting for bitcoin without waiting for the whole bull run this is going to do crazy numbers i i personally believe of course it's not financial advice do your own risk uh, do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but you know you're getting millions of tokens for very cheap and like i said i think it's irresponsible to not at least mint it for free <clears throat> if you think about bitcoin in the early stages or even still people are mining bitcoin think of this like mining bitcoin okay but without having to use a bunch of energy without a high energy bill without um having to buy all sorts of equipment hardware fans um, um interfaces all that sort of stuff right you can basically mint zen for free with a f at the click of a few buttons okay guys you can see my page here or my new uh, the minting page on the main website um this is one of my mints okay I personally have seven wallets that I've minted on this particular project um, on several different chains. As you can see a bunch of chains that you can mint on over here. And I've minted on most of those chains, okay? Over seven wallets, right guys? And right now you can see in this particular wallet, I've got a bunch of Zen um, that I'm waiting for to be minted as well as a bunch of Zen that I'm holding on this wallet as well, uh, which you can see up here, okay guys? And um, the estimated Zen, I'm going to earn 27 million Zen by the time of this, uh, by, by, by the time that this mint comes to an end, it was originally 359 days. I can claim this mint in 178 days and all this cost me was gas fees. I can't remember how much the gas fees were at the time. Maybe it was 20, maybe it could have been $30 because this was right at the beginning when the gas fees were most high. Okay, guys. But um, this is free crypto. It's free crypto. Uh, this is a very bullish project in my opinion. And I just think, you know, you could go ahead and mint this for free. Okay, guys. You could do it for a longer term, a longer term than 359 days. I think you could do it up to like a year and a half or something like that. Um, so in my opinion, you should take advantage of this. Remember, it's not financial advice, but you should take advantage of any opportunity for free money or to mint something for free to be able to create something out of thin air with a, at a very low cost that could potentially have future value in my opinion okay if we go to the chart right guys you can see that zen is pumping okay we see it has broken out of this cup and handle okay guys so for me the very short term target from this cup and handle okay at the breakout level is around this area over here okay guys and um it could even go all the way up to this resistance but i think that you know it's not even any point in drawing targets because i'm going to be holding this anyway and i believe that this is going to go to the moon okay guys i believe that sky is the limit for this particular altcoin okay one of the reasons behind that is the huge community uh the community is massive all right guys the holders on this alone is more than 250,000. I haven't checked recently, but it's more than 250,000 holders. Okay, guys. Um, and that's those are genuine, genuine wallets. Okay, genuine, genuine addresses. Okay, guys. You can see the active minters are 14.1 million uh, addresses. Okay, guys. Active addresses uh, minting Zen. So that is huge. Uh, this is probably the biggest. 
I don't know. Is there more holders than, than Bitcoin on Zen? I, I don't know. But this is one of the biggest uh, cryptos, okay, uh, right now, in my opinion. Okay, guys? And for the simple fact that it's only a 47 million market cap, that is nothing. That is nothing. It says it's actually fully diluted at 21 million. I think that is something to do with the minting. Okay, guys? Um, but um, the circulating supply is 8 uh trillion eight trillion zen okay eight point six trillion zen okay and the max supply we don't know because it's, it's going to be you can be able to mint this token for eight years uh, or maybe, let's let's say around seven and a half years at the time of recording this video okay guys um but as time goes by the supply that you're going to be able to get from minting is going to decrease just like it has already i think if you do a mint right now you'll probably get for around about a year Close to 10 million tokens, probably a bit less. I did a few mints on another chain the other day, and I was getting nine. I'm getting nine million tokens uh, on Phantom, okay? Um, I think I didn't renew my original mints because I minted some, I claimed it. And, you know, it's, it's very undervalued. It's very low in value on the other chains, for example. So the main chain that I focus on for Zen is Ethereum. However, I do mint on the other chains, but... What is the potential for this particular project going forward? Okay, guys. I think it's extremely undervalued for what it is. Some would argue that it's not undervalued uh, for the simple fact that it's minted for free. But there's a whole ecosystem being built around Zen. Now, you have DB Zen. You have Xlon, another token, a meme token, X or Zenlon. Okay, guys. You've got another one called Phoenix. You've got a bunch of things coming out in support of Zen. And these tokens or coins or whatever, they actually contribute to the burning of Zen, which is why we've seen this incredible price action on Zen. If we go back to the chart, this is why we've seen this like 600% pump. Let's just do a measured move. Almost a 600% pump. Okay, guys, um, the founder for this project, he just knows how to get people moving he knows how to get people excited man so i'm super bullish on this project and i just wanted to make this quick video just to say if you're not holding any zen or you're at least not minting any for free what on earth are you doing i believe the best time to mint zen as well is on the weekend so right now is probably a good time to mint zen it's when the gas fees are cheapest okay guys but um, a lot of people don't want to wait for mints they don't want to wait 365 days i mean you can mint for one day you can mint for 10 days you can mint for a week you can mint, mint for a month okay guys but the longer you the longer your mint is the more zen that you're gonna you're gonna get so you know it's not really worth it minting for a short period of time that's why people are doing longer periods of time with the gas fee involved okay guys it's not worth minting ten dollars worth of gas uh, ten dollars worth of zen for example for uh, I don't know, 30 days, I, I don't know, right? When you could just put $10 in Zen and get a millions of Zen straight away, right? So, uh, and, you know, when you're you're spending gas, you're, you're spending, sorry, you're spending close to $10, 5 to $10 worth of gas just to mint the Zen. So it's not worth spending 5 to $10 worth of gas to mint Zen. We could just buy it, okay, guys? So this is why it's better to mint to do longer periods of time to kind of get your money's worth. And of course, the price of Zen we expect to accumulate, uh, uh, to, to appreciate, sorry. So really and truly, you know, even minting today, okay? You might be minting at a loss or a break even, for example, but um, it's the same what Bitcoin miners do. They they mine Bitcoin at a loss all of the time and they just hold on to it because they, they believe in the price. They believe that the price is going to go up. The Bitcoin is going to be worth a lot one day. Okay, guys. So I'm super bullish on this. And I just think we're just going to get, I mean, if you look at the amount that has come down, okay, when this first came out, of course, people were minting it for free. Some people were doing batch mints and just getting a bunch of Zen and it was so profitable, even if you minted for one day, two days, three days a week in the beginning. And, you know, people took advantage of, of that free money, right? Exchanges were adding liquidity, people were adding liquidity independently. And, uh, you know, they, they became exit liquidity for a lot of people. Okay, guys. But right now, we're in a deflationary phase. And I think that the price action is kind of telling us that people are no, will, no longer willing to sell Zen for pennies. 
they want to hold it because they see the, the massive potential in this particular project. So you can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm super bullish on this project. The Zen that I've got right now, I've been holding it. Okay, the Zen that I'm getting on the mints, I'm going to be holding it. Um, you know, unless this does something absolutely crazy and I see life changing money, of course, I'm going to take some profit, take some something off the table. Okay, guys, but the Zen that I'm minting on all the other chains, I'm going to be selling that Zen and bridging it over to Ethereum to kind of pick up more Ethereum Zen. Okay, guys, or I'll just call it Zen because. <laughs> This is the first one, so it's called Zen. You'll notice the other versions are called E Zen or P Zen or M Zen, right? Um, I want as much Ethereum Zen as I can get my hold, uh, get get my hands on, for for obviously in in a way which makes sense. Okay, guys. Of course, I'm holding a bunch of other tokens and stuff. I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to start. You know, because there's Zen's not the only project that I believe in. So you've got to diversify, right? But um, if I didn't know any better. I'll probably go all in on Zen because I'm super bullish on this project and I'm looking at something like Hex, the way that performed in the past, and I'm thinking this is Hex all over again, in my opinion. Many people might disagree, Hexagons might disagree, it's just my opinion. You can let me know what your opinion is, let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favour and subscribe, tick the little bell for notifications. If you like the video, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. That's about it for this video, guys. Zen to the moon, and I'll see you guys in the very next one.